Hello, we are TPL Incorporated. TPL is a developer of advanced dielectric materials and their application to capacitors that allow electronics to work in challenging environments. This project addresses a specific need in the aviation sector for electronics components in power conversion applications that can withstand higher temperatures while also performing better than existing state-of-the-art capacitors. TPL's recent projects include the development of a modified fluorinone polyester, or MFPE, dielectric film under AFRL funding with sustained performance at 200 degrees Celsius and 300 volts. The development of a multiple layer MFPE film capacitor for a pulse power application, which performed at 250 degrees Celsius for over 10 million cycles under a 3000 charging voltage and a 2000 amps discharging current. Use of an innovative film capacitor design. Reducing component costs by an order of magnitude and increased energy density by a factor of three relative to existing ceramic capacitors. And development of a novel ceramic capacitor incorporating nano-composite technology with significant increases in operating voltage and energy density characteristics for Marx generator applications. These capacitor development activities are supported by an excellent design team and a comprehensive laboratory and manufacturing facility in Albuquerque, New Mexico, a hub for national security technology development. Bottom line, upfront, advances in capacitor performance, specifically higher operating voltages and temperatures, are needed for next generation power conversion systems. Electrical power is replacing many hydraulic, mechanical, and pneumatic power systems because of the significant weight and volume reductions. This approach is further enhanced in power electronics by use of wide band gap semiconductor devices, which increase conversion efficiency. Capacitors, which perform numerous voltage management functions in power electronic circuits, must meet wide band gap specifications for the electronics to work properly. DC link capacitors at the center of the power conversion system and AC power filter capacitors at the start of the power distribution management system are the major capacitor application targets because of the large capacitance they require. Commercial, off-the-shelf capacitors have been developed to withstand temperatures up to 150 degrees Celsius, but still can't meet the strict wide band gap specs needed for aviation applications. Hence the effort to develop film capacitors with a 200 degrees Celsius capability. There is a broad need within defense and commercial aviation markets for capacitors that meet these voltage and temperature specifications. This technology has only just been invented, so additional industry tests currently being conducted will unearth additional benefits associated with these capacitors. Partnering with NAVAIR, our first capacitor test case is for fixed-wing naval aircraft. The FA-18 Super Hornets require new generator conversion units that can deliver 35% more power with the existing cooling system. You can see to the right that just by measuring the comparison in insulation resistance, which is a key property demonstrating temperature capability, there is a clear and significant difference between existing high temperature capacitors and MFPE capacitors, illustrating the performance achieved even with major temperature rises. This materials breakthrough will be an enabling technology for many applications and environments where current capacitor designs cannot function. TPL's MFPE technology is in an advanced state of development. Under AFRL funding, we developed an MFPE polymer into a viable dielectric material. Capacitor testing, seen here on the right, demonstrated that it could be engineered into a mature product meeting NAVAIR specs. Film manufacturing processes have been refined, allowing conventional metallization and capacitor winding procedures to be employed. The current NAVAIR FA-18 contract is demonstrating that flight-qualified hardware can be manufactured. 3M has attempted a similar materials breakthrough but their prototypes couldn't overcome temperatures over 125 degrees. TPL identified the root causal factor and how to effectively manufacture a working model. To reiterate, the MFPE technology has evolved through a series of government contracts, each successfully completed. With the FA-18 contract, 
our capacitor prototype is now subject to its first aircraft-specific development program with multiple accomplishments already achieved and design parameters being evaluated by NAVAIR. We'd like to stress again how our unique capacitor technology rates against four of the most current, state-of-the-art dielectric films. Note the significant advantages that MFPE has with respect to temperature and voltage capabilities. Polypropylene continues to be the most widely used dielectric film because of cost, voltage performance, and enhanced reliability achieved through good defect clearing behavior, which restrains catastrophic failure. Yet its low temperature capability restricts its usage, especially when it comes to wide band gap based power electronics. This is why we're so excited about our breakthrough. TPL's enabling technology can couple the benefits of polymeric capacitors with the high voltage and temperature requirements of WBGs. Exercise of the base contract option means that the next step in transitioning this technology to the fleet is underway. Assembly of individual capacitors into a capacitor bank of 350 microfarads required for GCU operation, followed by testing by Navy and General Electric engineers as GE is under contract to modify the fifth generation GCU for the Super Hornets. We are working closely with our NAV Air sponsor to prepare for extensive testing of the banks to ensure that flight qualifications are met and optimize our manufacturing readiness levels to achieve transition from prototype manufacturing to pilot scale capabilities. We believe TPL's capacitor technology has a wide range of applications in both defense and commercial markets. The need for robust and efficient power electronics and power conversion systems components is apparent and requires the capacitor technology we're developing for many different industrial sectors. The aviation market already has a need we're filling with the Super Hornet. Additionally, with the F-35 and Boeing's 787, we're seeing the first examples of what the industry calls more electrified aircraft, which will need our capacitors. Even now, Lockheed Martin is considering our MFPE capacitors for insertion into the F-35 Block 5 build. Further extension of more electrified aircraft to new defense and commercial aircraft, including medium-sized commercial airliners, would result in explosive growth for MFPE capacitors based on their anticipated electronics needs. Our technology will have a use in other sectors where power conversion is critical, including ongoing modernization of our regional electric grids, which are rapidly incorporating renewable energy sources. In the automotive, freight, and railroad industries, with their rapid advances in electrification and power conversion needs. And within sectors that already utilize high temperature capacitors, such as deep well drilling, the wide band gap semiconductor market is experiencing exponential growth due to these demands across industrial sectors. Based on our market research, if TPL applies our intellectual property to reliably increase the voltage and temperature threshold of WBG capacitors while reducing size and cost, we can exceed the compound annual growth rate for the known market, up to 39% over the next 10 years. Being first in market means that we can capture a significant percentage of that growth revenue through the manufacture and sales of our MFPE capacitors to the OEMs that need them. In 2024, TPL is initiating commercialization activities, seeking both external investment and expanded government contracts to support this effort. One challenge we seek to overcome is to increase our manufacturing capabilities in both film and capacitor production to pilot scale. This will allow testing, evaluation, and initial utilization to proceed from our current combat aircraft base to the numerous markets applications, and end users requiring high temperature, high voltage capacitors. If you're a stakeholder for power conversion needs in these markets, please contact us for more information. Both HAP and Kirk are happy to discuss your semiconductor needs. Thanks for your time, and we look forward to helping you continue advancing American technology in the growing electrification market.